triumphant in heaven. We are by far the smallest sector of the church as well. We are members of the church, not just with our fellow parishioners, but with the saints in heaven and the angels of God. We're the smallest part of the church. And there is this huge, vast multitude of members of the church in purgatory and in heaven. And every time we come to Mass, the three different aspects of the church, they're all mysteriously made present to one another. And the communion is stronger than it is at any other time. This is one of the main points of the church's Lumen Gentium document. We're right? trying to get people to see what's below the surface. To understand that we are members of this church that we can't always see. I think a, a beautiful example of this with uh, the Feast of St. Simon and Jude. I, I was you know, doing some research this morning and I discovered that St. Simon and Jude, some of their relics are actually, uh, they're going on tour this year in the United States. So maybe if you're, you're looking for something to do uh, during the upcoming Jubilee year, you might try to make a pilgrimage to see the relics of St. Simon and Jude. And I think it's very interesting because St. Simon and Jude, among you know, many modern historians, many modern scholars, since we know so little about St. Simon and Jude, right, they would, they would want to question the authenticity of those relics. And it just so happens that there's already been miracles associated with this tour through the United States. That people who have had cancer, for example, uh, touched the relics and their cancer miraculously disappeared. Right? In our modern age, we're very skeptical of things that we can't see, and yet, Almost everything about the church is things that are invisible, things that we can't see. The Eucharist looks like bread and wine. Baptism, somebody being completely reborn in the Spirit, it just looks like water being poured over somebody's head. When we talk about the church, you may think that we're just talking about a building. But we're always talking about something deeper than you and I through our baptism, through being members of the Catholic Church. We're not just members of St. Bernard. We're members of the citizens of the saints, the very household of God. These apostles we celebrate today, we can call our brothers, not just examples to us, but we're members of the same family. It's an amazing reality to be a member of the Church.